Good morning, everyone. As usual, I'm working on cultivating my mind first thing in the morning and having some good coffee. Today, we're working on James Stockdale's book, Courage Under Fire. I wanted maybe to share just uh, one idea of the book with you. So one of the idea is to step between emotion before they become bad mood. An emotion is just like super small, but if we let it in our mind for too much time, it's going to become a mood. And after that, if we cultivate this mood for too long, then it's going to become like an emotional trait. So James tells us that as soon as we like notice negative emotion, we must let it go as soon as possible so it doesn't become a mood and on the other end as soon as we see or we notice a positive state of mind we cultivate it so it becomes a mood and then becomes an emotional trait it's super interesting i strongly suggest the book is one of my favorites so now let's have breakfast today we have a gravel workout so we're gonna do about 70k. Most of it's gonna be on gravel, about 80% of it. So we're gonna get to the circuit. Today the workout is a tempo workout. So I'm gonna get my heart rate. So I'm gonna be over 150 uh, BPM for all the circuits. How I'm gonna do it, uh, the circuit is about 6k. So I'm gonna take one kilometer off and the five other K are gonna be pretty hard. Uh, we're gonna do the loop a time. I think it's gonna take us about three hours to complete uh, the whole workout. Um, I'm really familiar with this area. It's like uh, truck trails um, that are kind of loose but uh, also uh, there's not too much rock so it's perfect for gravel. It should be kind of hard because there's a big climb um, in each circuit. Excited! So today mental training it's a concentration workout. How is it gonna work? Every time I'm gonna cut myself lost in thought. So having a focus that is external but very large, I'm gonna refocus myself on a focus that is either external but really small or internal that is really small. An internal focus that is really small is how my legs are feeling in the moment, how I'm relaxed on the bike, how my shoulders are relaxed and the next external focus that is really small is the next rock, the next bump in the road, the next turn that is coming. So my primary focus today is going to cultivate as much as I can an external focus that is really small, that is really precise. So that seems to be the entrance for the gravel part of the ride was written that it was private but I guess in gravel the beautiful thing is that you risk your life every time you want to try a cool spot sand is really loose we're going just up there so we are now in Utah on red rocks so the first ever gravel ride I did on my Pinarello was on this time right here and I can tell you how much it makes a difference I've ridden the bike for almost three months now I was like struggling getting up this time and honestly right now I'm literally just chilling and enjoying the view so we're about to start the interval I just finished depositioning my cleat a little bit you were not Perfect, perfect. I just received those gravel shoes by Bunt. I already had the road shoes, but now I have the gravel shoes and I calculated exactly so I had the same fit, but I think I was missing just like a few millimeters. So uh, we'll try that and uh, start the interval. have one interval done, more technical than expected. The way up is pretty fast, but the way down is super technical, it's perfect. Just need to stay extra focused. Have a flat, but just to be a riding fast, technical technique.
you are done, sorry I didn't update you the window worked out with that flat and everything. I was just trying to optimize the work and not waste too many time. In terms of feeling, my legs were tired of yesterday, but I was feeling good. I was very enjoying actually a workout. At first, this morning, I said that I wanted to do seven laps. I was expecting one lap to be about 15 minutes without uh, the recovery, but uh, it turns out that it was uh, more technical than expected. And uh, it took me around 20 minutes for each lap. So the objective was to do a total of about 100 minutes at uh, tempo, so at like 155, 150 BPM. So uh, I did five laps of 20 minutes. So it gives me about the same as if I did seven laps of 15 minutes. So now we're heading home. But uh, just before we had like a, a crazy steep descent that is half paved and half gravel. It's kind of sketchy, super fast, but uh, you'll see the view is uh, amazing. had a shower and finished my recovery drink as usual that's our ride for today so 5 times 20 minutes tempo to practice high speed gravel riding 58k total time 3 hours elevation 1500 meters as usual there's a little recap of the ride so it goes like this pretty technical course it was really technical right on target for the tempos definitely gave my first four percent on the downhill literally almost crashed twice and that's why you didn't see that much technical part i just wasn't able to film during those grateful for the amazing trails and the cool weather actually the weather was like perfect for intervals it was like around 70 so like perfect weather for having the best place possible so now i'm just gonna do a quick uh, breath training i'm gonna show you how i do it super quick So I use AeroFit two times a day normally. So in my day I have like three breath training. So I'll do one just before my cold shower. But after that I have two strength training with my AeroFit. It's actually pretty cool. I talked with the AeroFit performance director, I guess. And he told me like some big names that were actually using AeroFit. If you're interested, I can do a whole video or something on the device or just talk more about it. So just tell me in the comments, it'd be my pleasure but like super, super fast. It helps you increase your inspiratory strength, your expiratory strength, and your um, vital lung capacity. So those are three um, crucial variables for lung uh, strength. Sorry, I have a problem saying strength. <laughs> I have to work on my English for that. So yeah, that's pretty much all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm uh, going to bed pretty soon. I'll see you uh, tomorrow, I guess. And as normally, Take care of yourself by taking the best choice in every moment and uh, do the same to uh, take care of the one you love. Ciao.